thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today I was reading in the book of James, James chapter 2, where in verses 14 to 26, we have a passage of scripture that's basically entitled, Faith Without Works is Dead. It's been many times in Christian circles misunderstood this passage of scripture. Sadly, a lot of times, even Christian pastors and teachers teach that we have to have works as a cause of salvation. I hope that I can share today that our works is not the cause of our salvation, but the evidence of our salvation. A few verses early in James chapter 2, verse 10, we are told that if we keep the whole letter of the law of God and fall short in one point, we are guilty of them all. I don't know about you, but this sinner that you're looking at on the screen right now has sinned many, many times in his life. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Jonah was a prophet in the Old Testament. And in Jonah chapter 2, verse 9, he basically said when he was freed from the great fish, Salvation belongs to the Lord. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told us in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 16, that we do not choose him, but he chooses us. We are saved by grace through faith. It is a gift. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Even the faith that we have in Christ has to be granted to us by God. Philippians chapter 1, verse 29 tells us that. Acts chapter 13, verse 48 tells us that all who were appointed to eternal life by God will believe. Now, that doesn't mean we're not free will agents. We have choices to make. However, our choices will always be wrong. Romans chapter 3 verses 9 to 20 tells us there's none that seeks after God. Why? Because we're told in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 that we are dead in our sins. That is why we have to become born again. As Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Do you remember the story of Lazarus? Jesus Christ, our dear Lord and Savior, raised him from the dead in John chapter 11. Lazarus was dead in a grave. Oftentimes I go to the cemetery to visit some loved ones of mine who have passed away. You could call out to them till you turn blue in the face. They're not going to respond. It is the same way with us who are spiritually dead. Unless God gives us that life, we will not respond to his grace. Now, faith without works is dead, we are told in James chapter 2, verses 14 to 26. What I firmly believe is that our works is the evidence of our salvation, not the cause. In Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, the Bible tells us, Blessed is the person who doesn't walk, stand, or sit with sinners, but he meditates on the word of God. Verse 3 tells us that that person is compared to a tree. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 15, verses 4 to 4 and 5, that he is the vine, we are the branches. What I mean by this is, oftentimes I come out here in this wooded area, not far from where I live. There's a lot of trees out here. You might see them. Often I look on the floor and there's dead branches on the floor. Why? Because it's not connected to the vine. If the tree is connected to the vine, it will, be, it will remain alive. The same way with us, my brothers and sisters, unless we're connected to the vine, which is Christ, we are dead. Even the works that we try to do is useless before the Lord. Now, Christ himself told us in, John, in Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 to 20, that a tree is known by its fruits. This is what, I'm, this, is what this is saying in James chapter 2, verses 14 to 26. The evidence of our salvation, the good works that we do, is accompanied by our salvation. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, as I shared before, we are saved by grace through faith. Verse 10 tells us that God has appointed us unto good works. Our Lord and Savior himself told us in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, at the end of time, he's going to separate the saved from the unsaved. The sheeps from the goats, as it says there, 
by the evidence of what they did here on earth. When I was sick, you came and visited me. When I was in the hospital, you came to see me. When I was in prison, you visited me. When I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. However, my friends, can we be reminded that our good works that we do is to glorify God in heaven. Christ himself again tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16, he says that we are like the salt of the earth, we're the light of the earth, and that our good works are to be seen by others so that they would glorify God, not to glorify self, not to get right with God by what we do. Religions created by man on this earth, and there are many of them, are all based on works that they think they have to do to get right with God. My brothers and sisters, we get right with God by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ and Him alone. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 tells us there is no other name under heaven by which we, by which we must be saved. Christ Himself told us in John chapter 14 verse 6, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. We show the evidence of our salvation, the grace of God evident in our lives by our faith in Christ. Now, it's not enough to say that you believe in God. We read in James chapter 2, verse 19, that even the devils believe in God and shudder. They shake at the name of God. They believe in God. The demons, you often hear me quote that scripture in Mark chapter 1, when Christ went to the temple in Capernaum. And in Mark chapter 1, verse 24, there was an evil spirit in there, inside of a man. That spirit cried out and said to Christ, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. It is not enough to say you believe in God or that you believe in Jesus intellectually. Many people will say, Lord, Lord, Christ said in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. But he would not acknowledge them. Why? Because as Christ said in Matthew chapter 15, verses 8 and 9, they confess me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. See, Christ is looking for your heart. That's where the evidence of our salvation is by the works that we do. It's to glorify God from our heart. My friends, I quoted a lot of scripture verses today. I love the word of God. God has truly blessed me. I know he has with a photographic memory where I could memorize verses. Please check these verses out for yourself in your personal walk today. A lot of times people on TV preach and talk about salvation. You got to back it up with what the Word of God says. Take care. God bless you all this day.